I don't even think it's a big deal. Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion, back with a bald head. And today we're going to be talking about rice gum and why I think he is just pure scum. Literally king of scum. He is the top of scum. Now you might have seen Jake Paul and Rice Gum both made headlines when it was released that they were involved in a scam. They were promoting a gambling website to young impressionable children uh, and apparently things weren't being delivered on this site and apparently like the whole thing's a scam. I can't know too much about it because I've never used the site so for me it's just speculation here. But today we're not going to be talking about the actual scam itself. More we're going to be talking about Rice Gum's apology. Uh, I air quotes that because it, it was the typical fucking Rice Gum apology. He does the same thing. He fucks up and then after he fucks up, he decides, do you know what? I'm going to do everything to avoid accepting any fucking blame. Uh, we've seen it before when he did the apology video after saying to this girl, did it feel good about rape and things like that. Uh... And in the apology video, he made jokes. He made, he literally made a little fucking skit in, the, in an apology video. That is scummy as fuck. Then we had the whole Gabby Hanna thing. And in this situation, they were both kind of dickheads. But again, his, his apology was piss poor. It came down to all just the fact that she was filming him. Which, aye, it was wrong. But he didn't need to be a dick and smash up a phone about it. And now we get on to this, yet another fucking scandal, and what is his first go-to thing? Look at all of these other people who did it. There's this YouTuber named Reaction Time, he actually has more subscribers than me. He made the same type of video, the same type of video, like three months ago. Look, look, all these guys right here, right, they're in David Dobrik's crew, whatever. They're influential, got kid fans, same thing, open up boxes. This was three weeks ago, way before I was doing it. This guy, Mort, same exact thing, literally same thing, four months ago. Ooh, don't even get me started on this last guy, Guava Juice, got more subscribers than me. Why is no one talking about this guy? Fair enough, everyone involved, everyone who promoted this site, they are scummy, they are pricks, but the fact that you use that as a defence, the fact that you go, I, I did it, but he did it as well, so why aren't you talking about him? You're just trying to deflect any fucking blame away from yourself. You are actually king of scum because you've done something scummy and decided to out other people who have done the scummy thing. Congratulations, I now crown you king of scum. Another thing that he did in his apology video was basically admit that he does not vet anybody who comes to him with promotions. He said that he, the management literally just chucked him this company and said, here, promote this, here's how much you're going to get. And he didn't look into it at all. He just fucking went, I'm going to promote it, fuck it. Basically, my management just came to me and was like, yo, Rice, here's his deal, load the app or whatever, you get paid, right? Vet your fucking promotions. Make sure if you're going into something, you're not going into something that's pure scummy and a, a, and a full-on scam. Because all you've done here is scammed children. It's not even like you're scamming fucking everybody who's adults. You're scamming children, and that's fucked up. Then we move on to one of the biggest things in this, which just felt fucked. Uh, at the end of the video, I know, I know his intentions were probably good, but... Uh, I, I can't see it as, as anything like that. He started flashing up Amazon codes like bam, 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 saying here's how I'm going to make up for it. I can't really do much because I already did it. The damage has been done. You guys already saw a money hungry side of me and it is what it is. And there's nothing I can really do but say sorry and give you these Amazon gift cards. So I'm sorry. It just wouldn't happen again. Amazon costs 10 to $20. Just a little giveaway. It's, it's the least I can do after, you know, this, you know. That doesn't make up for shit, mate. Just because you're going, oh, here you go, have money. Oh, here you go, have money. Disney mean you've not done anything wrong and it's no way that you can make up for it. Make up for it by making a decent fucking apology. Actually apologize to the people you've scammed. Actually make a real apology for the first time in your fucking life. Do not avoid the fact that you've done something wrong because, oh, scum, that, scum, 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 scum. I will say it till the fucking world ends. He is scummy as fuck. Going back into other people who were actually involved in this, I believe they should make an apology video as well. I'm not trying to say that Rice Gum is the only person that should be 
basically punished for doing this. I do think everybody else who was involved should be punished. But I just believe that Ricegum has made an apology video that was fucking shit. It literally wasn't an apology. He can say it was an apology all he fucking wants. I do feel bad, you know, I'm like kind of defending myself and stuff, but I do know I'm somewhat in the wrong. You're not even claiming responsibility there, you're going, I'm, uh, uh, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess nothing, mate. Just fucking apologise, claim responsibility. The biggest thing here that you can do, and the thing that will probably save a little bit of respect from people, is make, make an apology video, and in that apology video, claim responsibility. Say I'm sorry for real. Don't just be like, I, I guess I'm sorry. Actually make a full-on apology. If you want to do a giveaway, that's fine. Don't put it in the fucking apology video. Do something like a Twitter gone, here, uh, to make up for what I've done, I'm going to be giving away some Amazon gift cards and then just put it on Twitter. It's as simple as that. I don't know what Mary can say on this. There's other people who have made videos on this. Uh, I highly suggest going and checking out H3H3s. Uh, he made a brilliant video on both the scam itself and the apology. And he describes it a lot better than I could. So I honestly suggest going and checking out that. But Ricegum, honestly, just learn. You've made multiple apology videos. It comes a t there comes a time where you have to actually learn that I need to improve my apology. I need to actually make a fucking apology video rather than being a scummy cunt, avoiding any accountability and just straight up being a dick. Just learn from it, mate. Before I leave this video, I do want to say, like, don't go sending any hate to race gum. Show what he done's really fucking scummy. But I feel like a lot like he's being called out on it so there's no need to go over his videos and just start spamming fucking hate but i uh that's the end of that video i kind of got really heated in it i just felt really fucking passionate about it because you see it so much with these fucking apology videos that are just manipulative and bullshit it's fucking disgusting i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did but fuck that like button catch you in the next one